Did your doctor tell you you had a thickened endometrial stripe or are you having abnormal bleeding or even postmenopausal bleeding? If you've had any of those conditions, your doctor may offer you an office hysteroscopy with endometrial biopsy. Today we're going to talk about what that is and why we do it. Well, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. DuPont. I'm a board certified gynecologic oncologist and I enjoy educating women so that they can have healthier and longer lives. Today we're going to talk about a very common surgical procedure that's done in the office, the office hysteroscopy and biopsy. If that sounds good to you, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the like icon below so that I can continue giving you great videos on topics related to women's health. Well, what is a hysteroscopy? A hysteroscopy is a small little camera that we use to look inside the uterus. And it's a very small instrument, doesn't cause very much discomfort. And we do it to see if there's any polyps or masses or any cause of abnormal bleeding. And typically it's easily done in the office. So your doctor may give you an oral pain medicine to take before. Usually I'll do like the night before and in the morning of I'll give my patients the oral medicine to take. And then I've also oftentimes will give them a medicine that will help soften or dilate their cervix so that the procedure goes very smoothly in the office. Once you come to the office, your doctor or the nurse will talk to you about the procedure and have you sign consent forms. And then typically what I'll do is I'll do uh, what's called a paracervical block. I'll put some numbing medicine in the cervix. And so what that does, it helps discomfort and it'll help with the cramping related to the procedure. Now you may, usually I'll describe it as like, you know when you go to the dentist and they'll put some numbing medicine in your jaw to help numb your jaw, it's kind of a very similar um, experience. It'll be a local anesthetic. And then after you have the local anesthesia, a lot of doctors or providers will wait, you know, 10 to 15 minutes until, until we know that it's working and then we'll start the procedure. So typically what we'll do is we'll, when we have your uterus and you know, your uterus looks like this, what we're putting the medicine on is the cervix. And so we'll insert a speculum first and the speculum is just an instrument that allows us to see the cervix. It can be uh, plastic, it can be metal like this one, different sizes and shapes, but we use this to open up the vagina so that we can see the cervix. And then we'll put a tenaculum, which is a, a little, Usually it's a metal instrument that we put on the cervix and we do that to be able to straighten out for the uterus and so that we can insert the hysteroscope very easily. And once the hysteroscope is inserted into the uterus, then we'll use a fluid, usually saline. There's other types of hysteroscopic fluid that we can use, but saline's the most common. We'll use that to distend the uterine cavity and we'll be able to see if there's any polyps or any masses or any fibroids. This procedure is also done for like lost IUDs that maybe got dislodged or if you have unexplained infertility, sometimes the infertility is the doctor will look in the uterus to make sure there's no other um, causes. Well, once the hysteroscopic part is done, your doctor may show you the pictures or uh, may talk to you about the findings. And then the next part is the office endometrial biopsy. We use a very small straw-like instrument called a pipel or endometrial sampling um, device that's used to get a biopsy. And then we'll put the biopsy in um, a formula or some type of medium to preserve it. And then we'll send that to the pathologist. And what the pathologist is looking for is there any you know, polyps, is there infection, are there any precancer changes? So we'll send the specimen to the pathologist to look at that. The procedure is very easy. Most patients tolerate it very well with mild cramping. And then usually after the procedure, I'll tell patients they can take you know, Motrin or Tylenol or whatever nostril that they have at home to help with any cramping. You will have some spotting after the procedure. It should go away in a couple of days. After the procedure, your doctor may tell you to have pelvic rest, which means to not have anything in the vagina. So I'll tell patients no, no intercourse, no swimming, um, no tampons, just so that we don't cause infection. Your doctor may have you do that for one to two weeks. And then after the procedure, usually your healthcare provider will see you back in the office and go over the results of the pathology report and then check to see how you're doing. So it's a very straightforward procedure. It's very commonly done in the office. Most of the times patients tolerate it very well. Sometimes um, your doctor may have an anesthesia doctor that comes to the office to 
to give you some anesthesia, especially if you're a little anxious or worried or concerned about discomfort. But most of the time, most women do very well. Some of the complications of the procedure, of course, is pain. Of course, there's discomfort, a spotting or abnormal bleeding. Usually that goes away very quickly. There's always a risk of infection. There's a risk of scarring of the uterus. So we're very you know, careful when we do this. You can have scarring from anything that we do. Um, it's rare, but it can happen. And then sometimes you'll have tears or lacerations in the cervix, which are also very uncommon, but can happen. So. Today we talked about the office hysteroscopy with the office endometrial biopsy. It's a very common procedure. If you've had the procedure and you want to share your um, experiences, definitely put them in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, you can also put those in the comments below. And I hope you uh, found this informative. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.